Hello, today uh, we're going to be looking at James chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. In verse 13, uh, James says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. In our passage to, today, we're taking a look at heavenly versus worldly wisdom. Abraham Lincoln once said, I don't think much of a man who is not wiser today than he was yesterday. We grow in wisdom by listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit as revealed in the scriptures. Daily Bible study is essential to the life of the believer. Listen to what James says in the next four verses. In verse 14, he says, But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruit, without partiality, without hypocrisy. The world will tell you that true wisdom is to think of yourself first to the exclusion of others. In other words, if you want to make wise choices, then place your plans above everyone else's. James has already contradicted that reasoning. There is a definite lack in this world's view of everything James tells us that comes with the wisdom that's from above when our total focus is on self-motivation. God gives us his wisdom, and it is firstly from a pure heart and conscience. His wisdom brings peace to our situation. When we know that the Lord is leading, how can we go wrong? Gentleness is how we deal with others. We don't insist upon our selfish motivation, but instead become those who are willing to yield to others and especially yield to the Lord. To be wise in the ways of the Lord, we should live a spirit-filled life allowing the fruit that comes forth to reveal to others our connection with the Most High. Our service to others will reflect God's view towards humanity and that all are equal in His eyes and His promises are made to all and will stand throughout all time. God has great things in store for you, my brothers and sisters. Let's learn from today and look forward to a future of peace and hope. Remember, if you feel you lack wisdom, ask of the good Lord who gives liberally and without reproach. In other words, God is not going to hold it against you because you ask. He invites you to ask. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the lessons that you teach us. Help us to remember, that's where wisdom comes from, is when we reflect back on the things you're teaching us day to day and apply those lessons to our lives so that we can live godly before you and be a true reflection of our Lord Jesus. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.